It's almost time for the first pitch of Game 1 of the World Series 2015. When the teams take the field, it will be Matt Harvey for the Mets and Edinson Balkes for the Royals on the mound. Can the Royals contain Daniel Murphy? He did an amazing job in the NLDS and the NLCS, taking care of business and helping the Mets to make it to the World Series. And stopping him will be the challenge of Kansas City. The Kansas City Royals pitching has improved this year and their bats can hit just as well as New York. Can the Mets pitcher slow down the Royals lineup? Kansas City came so close last year and they will do everything to win it all. The Mets are ready to win the World Series title and their pitching staff has found its groove. It is time for the first pitch, so get ready for the 2015 World Series between the New York Mets and the Kansas City Royals. Thinking of going to a future game or maybe a tour of the spring training camps? Try the Bucket List Travel Club for the best deals in travel. Hey there sports fans, this is Eddie Lane out here at the World Series where the Royals meet the Mets. Game one, and behind me is the Rookie of the Year 1963, Dick Hauser, showing you that even as a rookie, you too can succeed. Game one of the 2015 World Series started on a sad note. The father of Royals started adding some bolquets, passed away early during the day. So when he told me he was done, did you do anything, give him a hug or anything? Or tell him more well, he was a little <laughs> pissed. That I took him out of the game. <laughs> was he? Yeah, yeah he, was a little, he was a little mad that I okay. took him out of the game. So yeah. I just told him he pissed his butt off. I don't think I've ever been through a year where you've gone through something like that. You know, I mean, it's just it's hard. You know, it's hard on everybody because, you know, we've all. I mean, well, at least I have. I've lost my dad. My mom's still still going, but. You know, I know how hard that was for me. I know how hard it was for Moose, and I know how hard it was for Chris. And um, you, you know, you see Eddie out there just, you know, competing his butt off, and then you you just keep thinking, well, you know, what's coming next? You know, the news is coming next. And it's just it's just hard. So. This was the longest game one in the World Series history: five hours and nine minutes. Volquez retired the first three batters he faced. In the bottom of the first, Alcides Escobar of the Royals started the inning for Kansas City with an inside the park home run of Matt Harvey. Only the second one in World Series history. Yeah, everybody knows I'm swinging the third pitch and those guys continue to throw the strike and I'm ready to swing the bat. Both Harvey and Volquez pitched well until the fourth inning. When Daniel Murphy got on base and Lucas Duda hit through an extreme shift by the Royals that let third base open, letting Murphy go in. Travis Darnell followed with a head to third that Mai Mustakas couldn't handle, allowing Murphy to score. In the fifth, Curtis Granderson led off the inning with a solo home run, giving the Mets the lead. The Royals weren't intimidated at all. They came back to force the game into extra innings. Everybody, you know, everybody, nobody quits. Everybody keeps battling and, uh, you know, stays in the moment. And, and that's what we have to do. You know, we, we won one game one here and uh, tomorrow's a new, a new day. We got to get ready for that and start focusing on that. On the top of the A, the score was tied at 3-3 until Wilmer Flores reached first from an error by Eric Hosmer that led Juan Lagares to score, putting the Mets ahead once again 4-3. Alex Gordon Homer in the bottom of the night to tie the game and he went on extra innings. It's tough. Uh, say those guys are, you know, he's throwing, I don't know, two seam splitters. I don't know what, what they are, but 96 mile per hour and uh, really tough on righty. So, uh, you know, perfect, perfect guy for Gordo, I think. So, uh, you know, Gordo's a really strong guy and um, he definitely showed it on that home run. Five more innings. The game stayed tied at 4-4 until Hosmer redeemed himself with a sacrifice fly to the right, scoring Alcides Escobar. Uh, just get this run in any way you can. You know, uh, you know everyone's been battling all night. Everyone's been uh, stepping up. Everyone's been doing their part. And it was just time for me to do it. You guys battled really hard. It was, back it was, and forth. It was, just... it was very exciting. Uh, Moose got, I think Moose got the base hit. Uh, was that Moose on the base hit at the end? Somebody... <laughs> But anyway, it was just a great hand. We kept the line moving and uh, we got two guys on, first and third. They walked low cane, intentional walk in. And you got three three lefties behind each other. So 
all of us told each other, hey, we going if you don't get it done, I'm gonna get it done. That's just how it goes. Chris Young got the win for the Royals, and Bartolo Colon took the loss for the Mets. Young did such an amazing job for you guys. Uh, he always, you know, we always can count on CY to go out there and do what he do best and uh, just put up zeros. And uh, he did at the night and had to go off to that guy. You know, he pitched his behind off, which he'd been doing all year for us. Did you feel that extra life in that fastball? Where'd that come from? Well, it's the World Series. If you were in the World Series, you'd be throwing harder, too. <laughs> it's just this whole city is unbelievable. Um, to get to play in this baseball environment, it's been this way all year. These fans are so supportive, so amazing, and uh, it's just a tremendous experience to have um, so many people rooting for you. You feel like you can't fail when you have that many people um, cheering for you and supporting you. Game two will be on Wednesday here at Kaufman Stadium. Jacob DeGrom will start for New York and Johnny Cueto for Kansas City. You guys obviously going to go against Mets who are going to battle back really hard against you guys. Yeah, them guys ain't going to give up. And uh, we, we know that as a club. And uh, we just got to stay on top of our game in here and uh, just continue to go out and play our game. We feel like when we play our game, it's, it's tough to beat us. And those guys, they probably feel the same way about their game. And uh, they got a great staff over there. From Kaufman Stadium in Kansas City, this is Claudia Gestrop for the LA Post Examiner.